Okay, hello. Uh, this question was asked on a Facebook uh, support group, but I thought it was useful to add to my own student uh, Vectorworks channel because it's a, it's a very good question and I haven't covered it, although it's probably covered hundreds of times elsewhere. Uh, the question is, how do you put a scale bar on a sheet layer? So this is a sheet layer here with a fairly simple um, truss reg and some treads. And you can see as I'm hovering my mouse over, uh, this is a viewport. If I click on the viewport, I'll see the viewport has a scale. Uh, that's it. information is available in the object info palette, which if it's not on window palettes, I make sure object info is ticked here. It's one of the windows I would say you keep open all the time, unless there's a very good reason not to. So anyway, what I want to do is to place my scale bar within the scaled viewport so that Vectorworks will um, adjust the real world units to the scale. So I double click on that and go into annotations, as you might when you're putting any annotations on. Choose the scale bar and I'm going to drop it on here. And it may not look like this. It depends on what you've uh, done before. There's a couple of things here. So I've placed that, um, I haven't been paying attention, so I've placed it on the none class. So I can put it on the dimension class and yes, it's going to take on the graphic attributes of the dimension class, which is a black pen color. So just make sure you've got your, um, the pen set to black if it's on um, a new sheet layer or do what you're supposed to do and make sure that the, the class is selected first before placing it on. Anyway, there might be a little window pops up the first time you do it asking you questions, but the questions are these questions here. Printed height, um, I'm going to leave. That's the height of the thing on the A3 piece of paper I believe I've got here. The minor length, so I've got four minor lengths of 250, so that makes sense to me saying 250, 250, 250, 1 meter, or 250, 500, 750, 1 meter, but I could easily change that to minor length 200 and five divisions, which would mean that I have 200, 400, 600, 800, a meter. Major length is one meter. It's quite, it's good to put a couple of one meter ones on so you can put your scale rule along there and check. And there's three major divisions. Again, if I wanted four, it's quite easy just to add on. So that's what these mean. The style just affects the way that this look. I tend to use the zigzag one. That's it. Hopefully that answered your question. Nice and short. And I'll add this to my Vectorworks channel. Thanks for watching.